So what do we have today? We have something. Wait, I'm going to give a little teaser here. It's pink. Ooh. You wouldn't expect that, right? It has to do with photography. It can also be green. It can be green or yellow. Oh, there's lots of colors. There's other tips and things that we could give you guys. But why don't we just show them what we're talking about? We're talking strobes today. Alien bees. I have the B1600 Alien B flash. You want to be a professional photographer, do high end studio work, right? So like, what do I need? What do I need? So you go out. Yeah, these and these umbrellas. You, you, you look through all of those sites and you find a really good set of digital strobes, high price tag, and they're great. I'm not no knock against them. Okay. So you, you use those, you have your own studio, you take, you're doing high end work. Now you're looking to make some more money. Yeah. We're volume photography. We get pick a lot a, of wedding and portrait and senior photographers that want to get into high volume. Absolutely. You, you want to pick up a school, um, pick up a youth league and sport league up. Okay, you get successful with that. You're still using those expensive Beautiful, strokes. Expensive yeah, strokes absolutely. You're rolling them out. Yeah. Into, now you're taking them outside. So what do you do? Now, now you need to hire a couple more people. So now you got to put kits together for them. Well, you're like thinking about, about back to that price tag. That's a little pricey. That's where Paul C. Buff, the Alien B, comes to your rescue. That's small that is, too. Oh, tiny. But it is entry level and but it will... Whatever you need to do, you can do it with this. This is their 1600. It has 640 watt seconds of power, which is more than you'll ever need. You can use it in full sunlight if you need to. It is only 359.95. Wow. I had, because I did a lot of uh, large groups, I carried around four 1600s. Okay. I didn't have pink ones. I wish I did. I, mine were the deep space black. Okay. Um, I had yellow, I think, yeah. years ago. Yellow was nice. Yellow was nice. So, and and Marion Hughes, our expert photographer, uh, consultant and volume yeah. photography expert out of Dallas, Texas, with the Pounds Labs, he, he recommends them. these too. Love so them. look for more videos actually on this. Marion talks about these strobes in yeah. uh, Marion's 30 Little Secrets of Photography. If you go to our YouTube channel, it's probably on Facebook too. So what? tell us more about that. What else can we do? The simplicity. The simplicity. The simplicity. These are analog. You will see where's the slider okay, right there. Let me, you got that? Yep, got it. Slider. It's not a. It is not a digital strobe. That's how they keep the price down. Okay. So, so you set the power. What does that mean for for people that like me that haven't taken studio photography uh, shots in like eight, ten years? So one of the the, the downsides okay. of it being an analog slider is a physical control. Okay. So it is based on where you place place it. It's how much power output. So it, it is. Sometimes on these, one of the downsides is you can't, if you're looking to get razor sharp precision, it's a little harder than say some of the more expensive digital okay. so But it still does the job. Absolutely, does the for job. For what we're, you're trying to accomplish. Because you, you, rolling out, you need to do F8 at 125 yep. and photograph 500 kids. You get your light meter, boom, 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 you're running. Cool. Okay. And Another for trick, group shots too? Group shots, yeah. I, I use, okay. like I said, I used four 1600s. So I was, right. had a 200 person a band, 200 person band. Right. Okay. I'd set up four. Uh, 1600s. Nice. Get my my F8 on the group. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect exposure every time. The the one of the tricks and uh, Marion talks about it a lot. Yep. And uh, Marion actually he taught me this. Okay. Um, because they're analog, they need to be warmed up. As soon as you get to the shoot, plug them in, turn them on. Just let let all those juices get flowing inside the alien bee. That'll help. What will happen if you if you go cold turkey? Put them on, turn them on, and do, um, you hit your fire them a bunch of times, right? Yeah, thirty times. I think thirty times. Get those capacitors What's warmed that? up. You push that. There's a button on there. You push, yeah, there's, right? a, there's a the test button. So, and if you've got a wireless, uh, oh yeah, we'll wireless transmitter. Yep. You can fire it that CyberSync, way. right? The CyberSync. Yep. Another another good product. Marion has so much more experience than I do about this. It will. Those capacitors will be cold. Flux when, capacitors. Yes, you will travel through. If you <laughs> if you use six of them, you will travel through time. Okay. Um. It will now. I'd love to take you off track. <laughs> yeah, now my my train of thought is gone. <laughs> you'll go to meter, okay, and you'll get your exposure. It looks good. Well, once those capacitors warm up, you may end up being a tenth, a third of a stop overexposed hmm. after they warm up. You had no idea. And so th those first couple kids look good. Yep. If you just went on and metered, and, but then you now you're getting a little hot. But if you Roll in, turn everything on, and then pop them. Yep. Then meter. 
then you're going to have that consistency all the way through. That's just a little tip with yeah, this. Yeah, that's a good tip. It's, it's a good workaround. Consistency is so important. So if if you don't watch that in yes. the beginning. School for diagram. Everybody knows consistency yeah. is is what you want. Right. So right. let's get it right in the first time with you. Correct exposure. Get it right in the field. Photoshop is a dirty word. That's another Marianism. It's, it's true. It's an adult video game, he says. It is true. So again, watch that video, you, Marion's Dirty Little Secrets of Photography. In volume photography, you do not make money when you're spending time photoshopping. And that's so true. You make money when you're in the field firing these. So Alien Bees, affordable, yes. cool looking, compact, portable, just awesome. Yep. We like them a lot. Easy to use, Pretty easy popular. to set up. Easy to replace the bulbs. Bulbs last a long time, though. No problem there. Look, and if if you need more power, the white lightnings, if you need to go up to 1,320 watt okay. seconds, if you just need to annihilate something with, with light. You have a bigger group. You know, get the white lightnings. You can rent, rent the lights. Test try them out. Test them out. See you like. know, and that way you don't have to make that investment up front. Absolutely. Uh, if you want to go digital with Alien B, they've got the Einstein product. Um, Another policy buff? We didn't use them because they, they are more expensive. Product. And okay. we, we we had 30 photographers running around, so we didn't, it, it wasn't going to be worthwhile for us. And then their new product that came out last year that I really want to get my hands on, unfortunately, I haven't been able been able to. What's that? The Digi, Digi B. Oh, okay. It is, a, it is the Alien B turned digital. Maybe we need to do another video on that. Maybe we need to buy one. Maybe we need to buy one. or Maybe we should buy one. Maybe we can buy one. You can, you can give us one if you want. We'll maybe buy one. all this sh sh uh, we keep plugging videos. Of, maybe all this plugs. plugging and policy buff, maybe yeah. I'll send us one. <laughs> we just want to play with it. We don't really have any. We'll, yeah. send, we'll send it back. Yep. We'll send it back. We'll send it back. I can't recommend these enough. When when you need to, what's the word I'm looking for? Cost savings. That's super yeah. important in volume. Yeah. Because you know, you're looking. Uh, you got to look at your numbers, your margins, your budget, yes. everything. Because you're going to have to give money back to the school. You have... So many expenses you may not think about going into the shoot. So minimize them up front. Yeah. And with, then with equipment like great this. Great equipment. Oh, let's plug policy buff some more. Okay. These are warranted. When the warranty goes out, they typically fix anything wrong with it for a flat 50 bucks. Sweet. So That's you just great. package it up, ship it to Tennessee, and they call you up and say, hey, we need to fix it. Yeah. No, they, they are. I forgot about that. Yep. Um, they typically fix it for 50 bucks. And you can't really go wrong with that. And these things no. are going to get beat up. This one's a little beat up. So, oh, you know, well, you can imagine they, traveling and stuff like that. You, you set these up. And here these. comes a, a herd of kindergartners. Yeah. Or we have sorority for our company. It's sorority girls. So yeah, you read your book. Absolutely. Attack these things. Unfortunately, they're they excited. Attack them? Well, they're excited about the day. They get excited. There's a lot of hugging. There's a lot of aggressive hugging going on. <laughs> aggressive <laughs> hugging and celebrating. Hashtag aggressive hugging. Yeah, that's probably. We, a need, we should throw that in the chat. I'm hashtag sure aggressive. Exactly. Yeah. Use it. All right, well, watch more of our videos, please, uh, on YouTube, School Prince YouTube. You can watch them on Facebook. More videos that Matt has uh, shown us some great tips and tricks with tripods, yes. uh, other policy buff products, CyberSync. So look for those. And if there's something you want to talk about, yeah, please let, let us know. know. Absolutely. Cool. So Until the next video. Absolutely. We will we'll be back. Awesome. All right. Y'all have a great weekend. Make happy great shooting. Happy shooting and make great decisions. Awesome. See you guys.